Well, that's the end of that. We've got about four kilometres away from home. Some insulation rubbed through. And she caught fire. Luckily, there's that much power in the battery pack. It melted the, uh, had the cables glowing red hot, so I was able to pull them apart while they were burning. So they didn't explode. As you can tell, they were friggin' hot. Notice how none of the battery packs got any fucking insulation left on the cable? So, it's a push home from here. Gently after I pull them all out. Work out what the fuck went wrong. Then we're building a box to put these bastards in separately. There is way too much potential energy in them. To have this happen again, that's scary. I'll come back to the video when I get home. Today I'm going to walk a couple k's home. What a bastard. insulation burned into my finger. It's even desoldered a couple of them. It's down to disconnect as many cables as I can. It's even melted some of the bullet connectors together. What I need is a toolbox with some side cutters in it for this kind of shit. Aside from the bag, my fingers and the cabling, I don't think I've damaged anything though. Hmm. I was having a lovely leisurely ride at the beach. Ah oh, well, every time you break them, build them better. It was uh, still going all right. It just started slowing down and I noticed it said that it was empty on the gauge. I thought, no way, I'm only like five k's into my ride. <laughs> Can't be flat already. Nah, not flat, catching fire. So all the cables were glowing between my legs and it was still managing to power the hub motor. These things are epic. Anyway, I'm walking home.